Hey guys, welcome back to 9 Mill Ridge. Today we have the Shield Plus versus the all new FN Reflex. And this has been a really good gun so far. I have just about 600 rounds. After this video, we'll hit 600 rounds exactly. And then also the Shield Plus. Now I've never done a video on the Shield Plus, but I've owned this for a while and I really like it. it shoots really well for me. And then this one is also gonna hit just about 600 rounds today. So very cool comparison. Um, internal wear on both of them is about the same. I took them apart right before this video and you can see they're pretty normal wear and tear, just a little bit of a um, normal scraping, a little bit of the uh, coating has been scraped off a little bit. And then as far as capacity goes on these two, um, both are uh, 15 plus one capacity that I currently have in them. And then the FN Reflex comes with a 11 round magazine and then you can purchase additional magazines for it. Now the Shield Plus is a little different. It comes with a 10 round magazine and a 13 round magazine. And then this one I have in here is the 15 round, which I purchased separately. So kind of interesting that you can have different capacities for the Shield Plus. That's kind of a nice feature, I think. So the uh, as of now, the Reflex does not have those options. But guys, stick around. We're gonna do some comparing today. So I did do also some uh, trigger comparison. Now this one, the reflex here is an internal hammer fire, which that's what got me so exciting, uh, excited about it, is that that's gonna have a smoother pr a trigger pull generally. So, um, and it does, it does have a, a smoother trigger pull. It breaks in right about three and a half pounds is the average uh, trigger pull on that. Now the Shield Plus, this one averages right about, just, just a little over four and a half pounds, roughly right in there. Um, so a uh, little bit heavier pull, but not hugely noticeable. But guys, stick around. Let's do some shooting with the all new FN Reflex and the trusty Shield Plus. All right, guys, first we're gonna try out the 15 plus one magazine here. Uh, um, first off, I wanna show you that nice smooth trigger pull. And then of course, being that it's an internal hammer fire, um, racking this slide is very, very easy uh, on an internal hammer fire um, handgun. So, but that trigger, is really nice and light. So you got your take up, comes about right there, there's your wall. Boom, really nice break on it. And then your reset, and right back at it. Really nice, it's so a nice uh, rolling smooth trigger pull all the way through. So let's give a give this 15 round. I'll show you this, just chambering it is so easy. Woo, so nice. All right, so here's a 15, here's the 15 plus one magazine in the Reflex. So not bad for recoil. It does have a slimmer grip on it, but feels really good with that uh, 15 round magazine. You get a full finger grip on it. And then let's switch out to the, uh, it's gonna be the 11 round magazine on there. So it does come with a flush base you can put on it, or you can put that pinky base on there, which I really like that. So you can still get a full finger three grip on it. But uh, yeah, and still, uh, have high concealability. So this is what I'd carry if I have like a light t-shirt or something on and then if I have something a little heavier I'd probably go with like the 15 round uh, magazine it doesn't stick out that much more But um, most of the time I do carry it with this uh, bigger mag, which is nice And then the slide release right there is actually nice and slim profile doesn't snag on anything and it feels really good um, When you push it down it doesn't hurt your finger and uh, it's really easy to, to Manipulate. So, all right, let's try this uh, 11 plus one magazine. Woo! Very nice. So, the sights on it are uh, really darn nice. Uh, you have two white dot sights in the back, and then a nice uh, orange circle in the front with a, a tritium insert. So that will go in the dark at nighttime. And then FN's. Um, Coating is always really good, very durable. I like the coating on it. Uh, it does have serrations in the front and the rear, um, and this is not ambidextrous. I believe um, you cannot switch around the mag release to the other side. So this is for righties only, unfortunately, but it, still, it's a great gun. All right, let's try the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus and give that a try. All right, now we have the Shield Plus, which does have a little bit wider grip, so that reflex comes to about right there. It's more comparable to the SIG P365. If you want to watch a comparison between the reflex and the SIG P365, you can watch that right here. But this feels more like the Glock 43X grip to, uh, to me. So it feels a little bit wider, but it feels perfect for a concealed carry gun. This honestly, if, 
it feels really, really, really nice for a concealed carry gun. I love the reflex too, so it's hard hard to know which one I love the most. But uh, let's give this guy a try. Now this one um, is a little bit harder to load to 15 rounds compared to that reflex. Um, once you get to the 14th, then you really have to stuff in that 15th round. So it's it's a little tighter loading, kind of like the like the Sig P365 series. But besides that, man, this gun really shoots really well. So racking it is harder than the reflex so because it's an internal striker fire it's a little bit harder to shoot or not shoot but to rack but let's shoot it and, and see how it does here so <laughs> kind of interesting side by side you would think this would have less recoil having that larger grip than the new reflex but it doesn't it actually has more recoil and it feels a little bit more snappy than the reflex of course i'm hitting better with it because i do have a crimson trace red dot on the top um, and then the sights on this are tritium night sights in the rear and in the front on this particular model um, for, from smith and wesson but uh, yeah as far as recoil goes this definitely has more recoil even having that larger magazine with the bigger grip on there let's try that 10 round magazine here so this one does not come with the finger, extra little finger groove. So if you put that 10 in there, uh, you do kind of lose some of your grip. You can kind of kind of get it on there, but not that great compared to having that little pinky extension. So let's give this guy a try. And then the, that uh, slide release is a little bit harder to depress comparatively to the reflex. It's just a little stiffer and it's in a, a little bit different spot because it does have a wider grip. So it's harder to kind of reach that and push it down, but not too bad, it's not too bad. All right, let's give this a try. Nice shooter though. I really like the way this shoots. Um, yeah, not a bad gun at all. Now on the reflex, they do have a Picatinny slot, uh, spot to mount uh, different uh, lights or accessories. The Shield Plus does not. So that is a little bit of a disadvantage. Not for me, because I typically don't mount lights to my carry pistols, but um, some people do. So uh, that is a disadvantage on the Shield Plus. Now the reflex does come with a red dot ready if you buy that model. So I was only able to get the model that comes without it, um, which is a bummer, but they are slowly hitting the market with that red dot capability. But let's shoot some, uh, let's shoot some more rounds through it and see how they perform. All right, guys, here's a nice side-by-side -side comparison of those grips there. You can kind of see the reflex. It's just a little thinner. Put them side-by-side -side there. And then the length of the, the length of the slide is just about the same, just barely longer on the Smith & Wesson there. And you can see that re this reflex is not the MRD ready one, but they do make those, which is cool. And hopefully that's what I would switch to eventually. I do like uh, carry guns without, with and without, but it's nice to have that option. If you do want to throw a red dot on there, it's nice to have that capability to do so. Um, yeah, both are very fun little guns here. Let's uh, let's do some more shooting. I'll show you the triggers here. Let's, let's start off with the Smith & Wesson. All right, so this is the 15 plus one magazine. So trigger is actually really good. So you got your take up, short take up, and then your reset, short reset. So really good. So nice trigger on it. I really like the trigger on this. I think it has just the right amount of uh, um, take up, and then the reset is just super short. So I do like that. Now let's compare that to the reflex. So the reflex does have a little bit more take up initially compared to the Smith and Wesson. So there's your take up right there. Oh, it had help if I put one in the chamber, huh? All right, there's one in the chamber. So you got your take up, but the reset is nice and short, which is nice. So a little bit longer than the Smith and Wesson, but it feels really good, very tactile, and you can really notice it. All right, shoot some one hand. Yeah, I have had zero failures and zero issues with this. Um, one more mag and that'll make 600 rounds. So we're gonna uh, take a little break here for a second from uh, filming this so I can do a short on that. But the 
Smith & Wesson here. Now let's see, that red dot can, should be able to hit better. What a nice shooting gun. They're both really great. Um, but yeah, the, I, overall, I would say the trigger makes this such a better shooting gun. And then uh, if you have the red dot capabilities, that's just gonna increase your accuracy. I, I really, really, really like red dots nowadays. I used to not like them as much, but slowly have conformed over. Almost forgot. So we do have the 13 plus one magazine here. Um, it does have the pinky extension on there as well. So when you do put it in there, it does give you that full finger grip. So let's shoot this last mag just so you can see this 13 plus one mag in action on the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. All right guys, that was it. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this. As always guys, I love you. Stay safe. Keep on shooting. Have a great day.